Hey everybody, <clears throat> just about time to start mailbag today. I'm gonna get right up close, and, uh, or you know, as close as I reasonably can. And uh, as soon as I grab my coffee and let these kittens out and make sure Maggie didn't jump over the fence or anything, we will get rolling. I haven't seen any Maggie's hanging out. Oh, she's over there, good. We're safe, I'm running out. Come on kids. Time to play mailbag. Get down. All right, everybody, let's see how this looks. Check the camera angles real quick here. Oh, I was gonna get a lighter shirt and I didn't, so we're just gonna take this off. Go with the t-shirt. For now. And where are we here? Looks pretty good to me. All right, uh, thanks all of you for uh, joining me for the mailbag today. And uh, let's see here, maybe we can zoom it in just a little bit. I think this makes some noise when we do. Hang on here. Maybe, maybe if we're lucky. Eh, we can't even do it that much. All right, just a tiny, tiny bit. Now you know every bit counts. <clears throat> All right, so um, we missed mailbag last week. I apologize for that. And uh, mailbag this week is going to be pretty short, actually, despite how big this pile looks. There's not actually that much there to go through. Um, and then uh, everybody that sent stuff that is supposed to be for mailbag this week, uh, we're not going to push it till next week. We're, we're going to get to it before then, but I don't know exactly when. Um, and I'm, I'm certainly not going to say tomorrow. Um, so. The thing that I, I feel like I need to explain is that I've been sick. Uh, I think a lot of you know that <laughs> by now. And uh, my doctor, DJ, uh, says that, um, you know, I'm probably over the illness itself, but it's probably going to take me a while to recover. Uh, um, so um, I'm definitely feeling it, you know, that uh, myself a little bit. And it's getting better every day. And it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. but. I don't want to be here doing mailbag and uh, you know running out of breath in the middle of mailbag and that kind of stuff. Just nobody wants to listen to that or see it. So we're going to try to avoid it as best we can. We're just going to uh, take it easy. And then my, my plan is actually for uh, the rest of the mailbag stuff to pre-record it. And then uh, what I'll probably do is upload it as a premiere, which means it's at a specific time, just like regular mailbag. And even better, it means I get to watch it with you, which I think we've done once before, and uh, that, that can be really fun too. So that's what I think I should do for now. And who knows, uh, you know, if it works out, it, it might be the kind of thing we can do more often. I don't think anybody should be too, uh, you know, upset about that because uh, really, you know, it, it comes out the same way in the end. Um, and uh, for me, you know, a little less pressure and a, a little more fun maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. But for today, we're gonna to do it in the traditional style and uh, sort of see what happens. Now, as for news, um, I, uh, I think we've like officially sort of started soliciting applications for these kittens, for River and her kittens, because except for Chalet, 
They've all graduated and officially ready to go home. Uh, chalet was only delayed because of what we think was probably a bug in the system and not anything to do with her. Uh, but we're going to follow up on that and find out. We haven't rescheduled her spay yet, so she's you know uh, sort of in limbo at the moment. But we'll we'll get that resolved uh, as fast as we can. Um, what else is news? I don't think there's anything else that's news that you guys don't you know already know or that's really important. Um, you know, we are still working on getting a new room set up for all the kittens. It's much bigger. It's a uh, it's about the size of the room we're in right now, uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but it's also taken like you know, first off, I have to go a little slower than usual, so I'm not getting as much done in a single day as I might. Um, but uh, I also, you know, I want to do it right uh, within you know uh, certain limits, I guess. I, I'm not going to make everything perfect, but there are a, a large number of things that I'd like to get in place to make that happen. So that's still sort of the plan. Uh, you will see Villa is wearing her suit. She looks great in it. She's getting around fine and she's healing up just fine So uh, she's doing all right, but she will not leave her, her sutures alone if you take the suit off So she's probably gonna have to wear it until they come off uh, which is about another week now something like that Probably uh, next Friday. I think I'm not I don't know something like that uh, I don't think there's anything else so let's let's do a little mailbag and we'll see if anything else comes to me um, let me grab these two letters and this stuff right here real quick, and we'll start there with some letters, all right? This one just says Kitten Academy on the outside. Hi, Yurt. Well, I should tell you, these kids uh, all spent the night in the annex, I mean in the spa, in the master bedroom with DJ and I, and they all snuggled up with me and her and Bumble and Custard. They, everybody was on the bed, and uh, that was pretty sweet, actually. I feel like that's a, that's really good progress, especially for these kids. And Bungalow here, uh, Bungalow and Yurt are both sleeping like right next to my head, which is sweet. Uh, you can tell that they appreciate me being there. And if I pet them, they just start purring, and they love it, and they don't try to run away or anything, but that's... That's all he wants to do right now. He's like, this is not the petting time. Uh, so I feel really good about, about their progress. If you remember when they came in, they were all such scaredy cats. And they're always going to be scaredy cats. You know, Eddie has been a scaredy cat his, his whole life. He's 10 years old now, and he's been with us that whole time. And there's nothing you can do. You know, uh, they say a tiger doesn't change its stripes, right? Um, so, so Eddie's always going to be a little more scared but he's also so loving and when you when you get to you know uh, hold him and, and pet him and he just loves it more than anything it's special for you and it's special for him uh, and I think what we got here is kind of in a sense a class of uh, little Eddie's uh, which is a good thing in my opinion he's he's a sweetheart um, but uh, their adopters should know that they're probably going to be like their first reaction is always going to be to run away, even from you, Eddie, to this day. If he sees me coming at him to pick him up or hold him or anything, he's going to run away. And I have to, I have to sort of approach him like a, like a wild animal and be like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And then, of course, he loves it. He wants it. He just, he just doesn't know how to do anything else. So uh, that's the way it is. <sighs> if you're not in these bags, right, you're just among them, River? Okay, yeah, she's just in among the bags. Okay, now I think we got some of that out of the way. Let's see what this letter says. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> this is a, a man telling his cat uh, who is sitting next to the litter box, never ever think outside the box, which is, uh, that's cute. And uh, <laughs> these are cute cartoons. Are these by the same artist? No, it looks like different artists, similar styles. Um, the signatures aren't at all similar. So this one is a couple cats talking uh, behind the sofa that's shredded, and the one is saying to the other, I have a couple other projects I'm excited about. That's, uh, that's also pretty, pretty funny. Uh, all right, this says, Hello, Mr. A. I just recently started watching your live Kitten Academy stream. As a cat lover, I especially like seeing the newborn kittens running, stretching, and even, even playfully biting each other. Brown cats are something I've never seen before. I'll just stop for a second to say I've never seen it before either. Um, you know, I've always called cats like uh, like Eddie that that are tabbies that have a little bit of brown in their tabby, brown tabbies. Uh, but now I, I'm rethinking that because I, I just never. It's uh, it, they're really cool. Okay, is the mother named River? Well, uh, River's not the mother of the brown cats. Um, River is the mother of these kittens. So we've got two groups in right now. And uh, River and the townies are the ones that are the older kittens. And like I said, they're ready to be adopted. 
where the brown kittens upstairs, there's six of them, they are seven weeks old, maybe almost eight, I've lost track, and uh, their mom is named Scotty. So I saw her staring at the door of the room, as she and her kittens are kept in and meowing kind of mournfully. She even got up on her hind legs and reached a scratch at the door. Does she have to be kept in that room all day? It must be boring for her to be confined in one room all the time. Can you let her out so she can explore and walk around? Well, that's a good question. We do make a point of you know, getting her out of that room at least once a day, if not more. Uh, and what we normally do though is we prepare uh, like the master bedroom where we are um, so that we can bring her over there and she can play with us and hang out and explore. I would love to give her full access to the house and we have given her full run of the house a few times. But in order to do that, we've got to put everybody else away because she's like a power mom and uh, she'll go right after any other cat she sees to protect her kids. She wasn't, she wasn't that way before her kids were born, so I suspect that that's not like fundamental to her character. I think she's the kind of cat that would get along with other cats, but she's in mom mode right now and will not get along with other cats. So it's, it's a little bit more tricky. Um, anyway, uh, that's also, by the way, the situation with River, but River has already calmed down a lot. If I'm careful, I can let the other cats around her, um, but you never know when she's going to snap into mom mode and go after them. So that's why right now this is just her and her family in here and none of the, the rest of the cats are allowed. Uh, thank you for the nice job you're doing in caring for these beautiful cats. Aw, oh, I'd love to have a cat for companionship, but my mother is allergic. <laughs> that's cute. Um, that's, that's really sweet. I'm enclosing two cartoons from the New Yorker magazine that I think you'll like. Have a wonderful day. Sincerely. Jean Marie, Jean Marie, thank you so much for writing to us. I just, I, I really appreciate the letter. I love the cartoons, they're very cute. And uh, I'm glad that I got a chance to answer some of your questions. You know, there's probably a lot of these kinds of questions that a lot of people have that maybe I feel like ordinarily we do a slightly better job of addressing in our daily, uh, not quite daily, all right, let's say um, weekly close-ups. Uh, we like to try to do them more often than that, but lately uh, we've really been dropping the ball on that particular point. So uh, hopefully uh, you know, it won't be too long before I can get back into the swing of uh, all the things that we like to do here. But in the meantime, the letter is a, is a great way for us to get a chance to discuss that, and I thank you for that. Uh, all right, next up, <clears throat> we have a beautiful painting of some little kittens playing together on a fence. Um, and it says on the inside, look how pretty that is. Hi, buddy. You want this card? Chalet, is it for you? That's Chalet with the purple collar. Hello, all in Kitten Academy. Greetings again from Mila Kangle. Kongle. Kongle. It's Kongle like Pungle. I know that. Uh, I know I haven't written for a while, but also know you've been getting lots of love from so many. Been volunteering for a bit at my local cat shelter in this past week. It was especially helpful to me. After a terrible staff meeting, remember those, uh, feeling beat up, etc. It was my shift at the shelter. When I entered the kitten room, a little orange kitty wanted attention, so I picked her up and she immediately snuggled and purred against my neck. It was so sweet and therapeutic. I couldn't read her name written on her collar, so in those times I just nicknamed cats and kittens KA names. She was Saffron and sweet as Saffron too. My Q&A for this quarter is what two faculty cats are best, uh, that's crossed out, better, friends. <laughs> uh, love, N-K. Well, uh, Neela Kongle, um, that's a tough question because I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you what I see is um, where... So lately, we have had a little bit of conflict to deal with. And so uh, obviously, I can tell you who's not best friends. Uh, Custard and Logan, we, we've got to keep apart from each other. You know that part. Um, as far as best friends go, well, uh, Maggie, I, I do see, especially when she wants to be fed, she'll often sort of rub up against Eddie and show affection towards Eddie uh, more than anybody else, and he puts up with it pretty well, so that's, that's probably what I've got to go with. Other than that, we don't, we don't usually catch the faculty uh, like snuggled up or you know anything like that. Um, but they get along. And I think if you are introducing cats that are adults uh, to each other, as most of the faculty um, you know, have been introduced that way, uh, they're never going to be as close as littermates might have been, um, or, or you know, kittens that were just raised together. So I think the situation that we have here is probably the best we can hope for, and uh, I think it's pretty sweet too. So uh, thank you for that. Thanks for writing. Thanks for volunteering at your local shelter. That's so great. 
I just was, I just saw an article. Uh, I almost wanted to talk about it, but we've got enough to get done. Uh, that was about how volunteering to foster kittens uh, can help you a lot too. And I feel like that's sort of what you just expressed. It's a great thing. I encourage anybody to, to volunteer at your local shelter. If you can, foster some cats or, or kittens. And if you can't, foster. Uh, you can still volunteer. Uh, they always need people to help out with stuff, uh, you know, change litter boxes, socialize with kittens, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, an awesome thing to do. Okay. I'm just going to take these out so we can get through the envelopes. There we go. Hi, buddy. Okay. Oh, uh, look at this. Uh, to Kitten Academy, this letter and attachments are okay to read on stream. Okay, great. Uh, a giant address at the top, though. Hard for me to cover up the addresses that go on the inside. Dear Mr. A and DJ and all the furries, uh, just a few lines to say hello and to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for Scotty entitled Sweetheart Scotty. One copy is, of course, for the Academy, and one is for Scotty and her adutive family. Scotty has been so wonderful to watch, and she has been exemplary in her devotion to her kittens. I'm hoping that Scotty's humans will be able to read the poem to her so that she knows I'm thinking about her and wishing her well. Also enclosed are lyrics I've written to accompany the second section of the very moving reunion vid video entitled Latte Gets Home that was posted by the incredibly kind humans who aduted Special Agent Star and Mocha and subsequently Latte. Much as I love all the kitties who have had the benefit of studying at the prestigious Kitten Academy, I have to say there's a special place in my heart for Special Agent Star and her coffee kittens. Special Agent Star is my all-time K.A. favorite kitty, and these lyrics were written specially for her with much love. Aww. Um, oh, we've got a second page here, but it's all wrapped up. So, let's pull that out here. Without showing the address, I hope. Um, it says, I don't know if it would be possible for you to pass a copy of the lyrics to Star, Mocha, and Latte, and their humans, perhaps by sending them a scanned copy. For me... The defining image of Kitten Academy is the photo of Star in her special agent suit. The one where she's looking straight at the camera means more to me than words can say. There is no other image that, for me, encapsulates the dedication and love shown by the Academy's humans to their furry charges, fosters, and faculty alike, and the innate specialness of Special Agent Star and her feline kind. We humans are incredibly blessed that Star and her fellow felines share their world with us. All that remains for me to do is to thank you for all you continue to do for cats and kittens and for the humans all around the world who have the pleasure and privilege of being able to watch the Academy. With love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Thank you very much. All right, well, let's read the poem for Scotty. I don't know if I can do justice to uh, lyrics, but we can definitely make sure that um, uh, Star's adopters uh, see them. It's, uh, it's funny, Star's, Star, I think, really ended up cemented as Special Agent Star because I think she was the first one that ever wore a suit here. Um, and uh, she really rocked it, too. Uh, definitely looked good. So, yeah, I'll never uh, forget that or her. She also was a little bit unusual because uh, she actually was fostered by a different foster who uh, had some conflict I can't remember and had to turn her over uh, so that they could, you know, I, I don't remember what it was, go on vacation or something that they had planned. Um, and, uh, and Star was still there with her family. So they turned them over to us. And so they came to us already, you know, well socialized and, and really sweet and wonderful. And uh, it, was, it was really fun. So here's a poem for Scotty, though. Uh, a poem for Scotty, Sweetheart Scotty. Scotty, you're a sweetheart, a purring ball of fluff. You're, you've devoted your love to your beautiful kits, and for them, you cannot do enough. With whiskers awry, you've stolen my heart and printed indelibly your paws upon it. You've tinted your tuxies and cinnamons with the zest, and in your furry family, you've brought out only the best. I cannot believe that your studies at the prestigious academy are now so far progressed and appearing on the horizon with an adutive family, you'll be blessed. It's amazing to think that you arrived at KA on your own, albeit laden with baking babies whom I've come to adore. And at the end of the day, when you snuggle up tight in your chosen adutive abode, you'll know there's an admirer far across the sea in distant wind-swept and heather-strewn land 
who walks every paw step with you, who travels every road. Your possum, my dear Scotty, a mewing miracle and more. That is super sweet. Um, oh, this is cute. Well, the lyrics I wouldn't really do uh, any any credit to either, but we'll get that passed on. It's it's very cute. The uh, the video on um, YouTube entitled "Latte Gets Home." Uh, that's uh, that's really sweet. But that was a, a sweet video too. I don't think I've watched it in a long time, so I don't remember it that well. But what I do remember is uh, we were all real concerned about whether the kittens would get along. Uh, you know, uh, I think it was a, a latte that showed up late. Um, of course it was, things titled Latte Gets Home. And we were concerned about whether Star would remember Latte and accept Latte when, you know, so often um, there's, there's uh, you, you can't necessarily expect it. And, uh, and she certainly did. She And it, the video was perfect because as I recall, there's an initial moment where you're like, I don't know if this is gonna work and then it did. And uh, it's really, uh, spoilers, it, uh, so really sweet. Okay, thank you so much for that. We will make sure that all that goes the right way. All right, now let's start opening some stuff like this box. And um, if I can find it, this knife will do. This knife. All right. This just says Kitten Academy on the outside, and it also says a pull tab. Let's see if it'll work for us. Mm, I can't even find the end of it. Okay, we'll just do it this way. Nice and easy. That's a lot of noise, I know. Boy, are they having fun. Uh, this says, I had to get one for myself, too, from Craig B64. All right, Craig B64. Well, let's see. It says, oh, oh sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> it appears to be oh just cats in space oh they're being abducted by a giant ufo i see well that's perfect um i definitely like that motif i guess as you know because uh I, you know i built that abduction ufo thing which probably is going to turn up in the new room um be, just because it's there and it's too heavy and awkward to move anywhere else <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, this is really cool. I love the colors of it, and the little kitties are so cute. Uh, this is awesome. I'm, I'm going to be very excited to wear this as we're trying to sort of do the space theme, and uh, that, that's super fun. Craig B64, thank you very much for that. Let's set that right back there. Set this here. This one says from Cheryl Lynn. Uh, Cheryl Lynn P, we'll say. All right. And, ooh, whoa. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that is... Uh, that's a treasure trove right there. Let's see if there's a note, but in the meanwhile, what we have is the original Cat Dancer, uh, which is a cat toy that is a, a little metal, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, it's just like a little wand with a bit of cardboard at the end, which doesn't sound like much, I know. But these things are awesome. And you know, it's funny, uh, we recently sort of rediscovered, uh, DJ reminded me that this was, when he was tiny, this was Eddie's very favorite toy in the whole world. And we discovered, we haven't had one out in a while. We've got one out, and it's still his favorite. Uh, he came alive in a, in a way that we haven't seen in a while. So that was just, that's really sweet. These are always a hit. I mean, always a hit. And boy, have you sent a lot of them. Uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wow, that is gonna keep us going for a few. Oh, wait, there's more. 19 and 20. Ooh. Uh, no other note though. So Cheryl Lynn P, thank you so much. We will add these to endowments. Um, and if I can't find the one I have for Eddie, uh, I, might, I might steal one for him too, we'll see. Uh, assuming that the count adds up, I'm sure 20 is more than the number of kittens that we have in right now, so I think it should. Uh, thanks for stocking us up on those. Like I said, always a hit. Those are just, they're great. They're great, simple toys. So, uh, uh, wire, I think, is the word I was looking for. I don't know, um, whatever. <laughs> I just, uh, these days, I think it's uh, partially getting old and maybe partially other things, but, oh, man, I thought I had some trouble with my vocabulary before. Uh, recall. Uh, yeah. All right. Cheryl MP, thank you so much. 
This one doesn't say anything on the outside, but it appears to be springtime at the academy because we've got uh, one, two, three, four sets of, uh, looks like 20 springs each probably. And the note does say, oh yes, hi puppy kittens. We hope you enjoy some of our favorite toys. Love, Tahini and Flair. Aw, oh, Tahini and Flair, thank you. I know they do, in fact, um, well, I guess I haven't, I guess I haven't seen the puppies with springs yet. They probably are overdue. I should make sure they have some. Uh, but uh, these guys, the, the springs are, are one of the favorites that are just constantly, the first thing that goes missing, which is why I don't seem to see any right now, but I know they love them. And everybody else to <laughs> Tahini and Flair. So these will be great. Thank you so much. Let's kind of make a mental note to, to make sure that we got some springs upstairs for those guys. Okay. Well, uh, we might as well open these giant bags that are closest to me now. I didn't even know Amazon made gift bags this big. Uh, but I, so these actually came in a box that is bigger than, apparently bigger than the biggest box Amazon makes because they had to put two boxes together and then put these things in them. And it filled up my entire car. I had to go back for a second trip to the post office last week just to grab it. Uh, which was awesome, by the way. It's really fun. And I wish I could have brought it in here, but it's been sitting in the garage and it's been pushed back and forth a few times and it was already kind of falling apart. So I just took the bags out and brought them in. Uh, and other than that, I haven't looked at them yet. So the note on it says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ saw these and immediately thought of the mom cats. The red ones are for Bumble, Scotty, and River, and the white one can be deployed. Kitten hugs from Abby. Bayou and Lila. Oh, well, we know that also means Joy, uh, Joy F. So thank you so much for, uh, for, for mom cats. Uh, let's see. Let's see. You said you sent three. I wonder if each bag only contains one of these in the same note. I didn't even look at that. We'll find out. By the way, blessedly, as large as this was, it was very light. So uh, but at the post office, I'll tell you another funny thing. Uh, this has only happened to me twice now. Um, they asked me to come in the back to take a look at it and see if I thought it would fit. And then uh, I got to go also in the back of the post office again to, to like pick up the giant box. And goodness, uh, whatever it was, is very light because I, I just picked up the whole box and carried it out. It didn't cause me any issues. Uh, but boy, was it big. Whew. All right, as I'm sure you can imagine. Oh, oh, oh this looks very pretty. All right, let's see here. This is... Uh, cardboard oh oh yeah so this is a cardboard uh, scratcher bed and the the thing that it does differently from any I've seen before is it also appears to come with some sort of a little blanket to put on top to make it extra fancy and boy is it fancy look at that uh, it's like a little sofa made of cardboard for the kittens and cats and I know mom cats this is exactly the kind of thing that they are gonna love and sit on and enjoy every day I don't know if the uh, the little uh, furry rug on top is going to be uh, something that they love or not. I guess that the, you know, remains to be seen. But if they don't use it on the scratcher, they can use it elsewhere, and I'm sure it will have many uses, and the cats will love it that way. I think you've already seen that we put a, a, a fur uh, rug thing in the kitten room upstairs, and they, it's, they just love to pass out on it and just lay on it and play on it and run around. We haven't done that in a while. And uh, I'll tell you, the reason that we did it uh, the one that, that's, it's not the one that's in there now, that's actually the second one that we put upstairs. Uh, but the first one that I put up there was the one that I typically use for the graduation photos and it had gotten dirty and I finally had to wash it. And despite taking the best care, I felt like it didn't come through the wash entirely intact. So I'm like, all right, might as well put it in the kitten room for fun. Turned out to be a really good decision because they love it. So. Um, yeah, and then uh, they loved it so much that when I had to take it out of their room to wash because Scotty uh, coughed up a hairball in it, uh, I put in uh, one of the other ones that we have around. So, so yeah, uh, the fuzzy thing, really fun. The, the cardboard thing, obviously fun. I mean, they, they're going to go crazy for it. Let's, uh, these bags also are, are so big. I did not know that you could get a gift bag in this particular size. And I would sure love to pass these on to the adopters in the bags, actually. Why don't we do that? That would be fun. Uh, well, maybe these are so big we could fit all the endowments in one. I also had fun carrying them in over my shoulder like some sort of bizarre Santa Claus. Or, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just stick with bizarre Santa Claus. Oh, okay, we'll leave that. Now, let's just take a quick peek to make sure the other ones are the same. 
And speaking of the same, there is a fourth one that did not come in a gift bag, uh, which I left out because I didn't want to spoil the surprise in case it was all the same, which it appears like it will be. But let's just check this one. The note, exactly the same. Hi, Mr. A, Dr. PJ, saw these and immediately thought of the mom cats. The red ones are for Bumble, Scotty, and River, and the white one can be deployed. Kitten hugs from Abby, Bayou, and Lila. All right. Uh, let's just peek into this one, and then if the last one, uh, we can just leave it. Uh, I'm assuming this is exactly the same, though. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a quick look. All right. Yep, it's the same. I think it might be a little darker than the others, uh, but uh, yeah, it's the same. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Joy and Abby, by you and Lila. That's very, very sweet and generous. And it was a lot of fun picking that up from the post office, too. It's always fun to get to see behind the scenes. The post office that we use now is, uh, I don't know if it's, I wouldn't call it a central hub, but it's definitely one of the bigger ones. They've got a whole like sorting facility in the back that our old post office uh, didn't have. Our old post office was like three people in a room. Uh, and they, they, you know, it was nice to have that sort of personal uh, relationship then that we formed with them. Uh, and the new one, though, they, they're, they're getting to know us already. The people, at least, that work up front know us. Uh, so that's sweet, too. Okay, uh, moving right along. Let's see if I can move some of this over to where we are, by the way. I think I know what this is, and I know uh, that uh, I was told what this would be. But uh, I can't, I, my ability to recall names has never been so good. Whoop. So, I might have to look to see who it's from if it doesn't say anything revealing. But let's move all this stuff over here where I can reach it. Uh, while they're playing over there and moving the tent around. Woo. It's snowed out, by the way. I don't know if you can tell from looking uh, windows, but yeah, it's uh, yesterday we had every window in the house open because it was so nice and warm. And today, uh, there's snow on the ground, stuck on the ground. That's just how it goes. All right, uh, this is a Chewy box. It says it's from S.D. Grady on the outside. Now I know Chewy doesn't let you leave any notes, and I feel like I got a note uh, on Discord from S.D. Grady, so let me just take a quick look to see if that's true. If I'm making things up. I think I'm making things up this time. No, no, uh, <laughs> that's sweet though. The uh, the last note that I got on uh, Discord from SD Grady says, I wish I could send a literal butler to care for the kittens and you for a few days. Take care and get better. That's really sweet. Uh, oh, uh, let's see, I'm following a never received tracking. Oh, hmm, nope, that can't be it, okay. Hang on one second here. I know, dead air, it's great. Um, hang on. Two Chewy packages, here we go. Uh, in do, 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 a selection of scratchers and toys to be used for deployment or as you see fit. Uh, that's really nice, thank you very much. Okay, you say have fun kittens. Well, we do have fun kittens. Wait, that's not it. Um, of that's not it. Oh, there's the knife. Okay. Let's see. I think, uh, by the way, if you're keeping track of my health, you might notice that my back is actually doing much better, but I have to take care of it because uh, it's, I, don't, I don't know if it's ever going back to, you know, 100%. Um, but obviously, I'm not, I'm not feeling too badly about any of that, which is nice. It's nice not to have to deal with, like, two serious problems at once. Um, Wow, this is very cute stuff. Look at this, we got a little tiny refillable catnip uh, squirrel. It says brown squirrel, uh, which I, I can't, I don't know, you can't see it too well, but it's very cute. It does remind me of the little brown kittens when they were tiny. We have these particular mice are, it says Frisco brand basic plush mice cat toy. And these are the, these mice I've become very familiar with oddly. I would not have expected this, but they're just, they're little mice toys that seem very generic, um, but in, different from most of them are they have very long string tails. That's that's one tail that just happened to be sticking out, so I can show you that they're long string tails tied in a little knot at the end. And the reason that I've become very aware of these is that 
they have been one of Loganberry's favorite toys to play fetch with, and now they are one of Scotty's favorite toys to play fetch with. So something about these mice uh, makes them extremely fetchable, and I, if you have a cat that likes to play fetch, I don't know, might be worth a try. It's working for two of ours. It's the Frisco Basic Flush Mice, it says. Uh, thank you. That's, like I said, going to really work out here, because sometimes they don't come back. <laughs> Uh, okay, this one says Magic Moon and Stars Scratcher Cat Toy with Catnip. That could go very well in our space theme or just in general. I've always loved the sort of, um, I'm going to say Renaissance Moon and Stars motif. That's, that's not quite it, but it's close enough to, to really sort of have that feel, and I've, I've always liked it. You know, like the, the moon with the face and the, uh, um, gosh. For some reason, I picture the Tears for Fears album from 1989 or whatever it was, the big one. It doesn't matter. Um, not, not the hurting, the one after that. Uh, Seeds of Love, right? Didn't they use that? You know what? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's just we'll keep it rolling here. Let me put all this stuff in your box for now. And thank you so much, SD Grady. That's very kind of you. Hi, kids. Well, let's see what this is. Well, no, let's see what this is. This says, uh, well, there's not a name on here to help me out, but I, I do know what this is. Um, and I don't even know if it really has to be open, but I'd kind of like to see what it is because I haven't ever heard of this before. I, I believe this was sent because you might have heard that we had a little bit of an oil spill in the basement. I mean, when it rains, it pours, right? Uh, so far, 2022 has been uh, exciting. In, in a way that we hope, uh, that, you know, we don't see much of in the future. But this is apparently called a pig mat. And uh, the pig mat, I guess, is specially made to be an oil absorbent mat. And uh, these were sent with the idea that we should put them in dangerous spots in the basement so they might save us from, from future pain, I think, was the idea. Uh, which I love. It's very sweet of you. And it's a product I've never heard of. I didn't, I, I didn't know it existed. Um, and this is a giant stack of them. So uh, I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'll get down there and I'll put these all around where they need to go. And uh, maybe I'll finally uh, sweep up the, the, the last bit of kitty litter that we put down there for the same purpose. That's not a real permanent solution, you know. Uh, but these seem like they're at least going to be more pleasant to look at if we have to leave them around. And uh, the, the good size to fit like under the, uh, the oil filters and the, the tubing that, uh, that I think was the source, well, the oil filter was the source of our recent problem. Thank you for that. I, re I really appreciate it. It's always nice to, to sort of learn about new things that are out there that can help us. Uh, and this definitely is that. Um, I, I wish I knew off the top of my head who I was sending thanks to, but it's, it's been a few weeks since we talked about that one now, and it is just out of mind. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to find it in my backlog of unread DMs um, now. I'm, I'm sorry about that, too, by the way, everybody. I tend to run a bit behind on that all the time. Uh, yeah, okay, no, I just, I'm not going to get it right now, but uh, just, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. The, the amount of time it's going to take me to find that in my DMs is just, it's good. Nobody wants to wait for it except for me and whoever sent those. So it's just between us. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, this uh, this is nice. It's got a return address that says Scarlet Hotshot. Uh, Scarlet underscore Hotshot. So we know exactly what's from it. It's a very jingly box. So I might have some clue of at least one thing that's in here. Let's find out. Ooh, and some glitter tissue. Ooh. Yeah, I was just thinking last night about how these guys are way overdue for a tissue pit. I feel like that's something that's like low-hanging fruit. Uh, you know, it's not that much effort. You might be able to get to that soon. Soon. I was going to say today. I'm changing that to soon because I'm not making any commitments right now. Uh, okay, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. A note right on top from Scarlet Hotshot. We like that. And hi, kids. Okay. <laughs> this has... A cat and a hamster, uh, a band, and they, they appear to be playing for St. Patrick's Day with a, a shamrock and a very green theme happening. Oh, and inside there's a hand-drawn shamrock, and it says, uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hope your St. Patrick's Day is shamrockin'. Uh, if you can't tell by now, I have a particular love for holidays. And thanks to KA, I can share that love with the kitties. 
I hope these toys add a little Irish luck to the house. Also, finding themed toys for the puppy class was a bit tricky, but I thought of how much puppies enjoy chasing balls and went with it. I hope they enjoy. Blessings, Scarlet underscore Hotshot. Well, Scarlet Hotshot, let's take a look. You sent a big box of uh, stuff. Really nice stuff, by the way. So these are the Kong Kickaroo, Catnip Kickaroo. Probably perfect uh, gifts for our mom cats, I think. And uh, there's two of those. We have, oh, I see. Wow, we really are all Shamrock themed. I feel like we missed it. You know, I'm, I'm not uh, well aware of when holidays are in general. I think I've mentioned a few times. There's, there's not any holiday that DJ and I uh, have had a history of celebrating except Christmas. Be crazy for Christmas. But after that, we don't, we don't even do birthdays, you know? And I've said a million times, it's not because of any convictions on our part. We don't have any beliefs or, you know, we don't feel like we shouldn't do birthdays or holidays. It's just we never have. Uh, so it's fun. This is fun. And these are apparently very fun. Uh, also, just by coincidence, uh, I had a craving for corned beef and uh, I made a big one the other day. It was so good. It's not even completely gone yet. I might I should finish that up for lunch. So good. Anyway, or there. Uh, what is here or there is that these are going to be great toys and or gifts for these kittens. And uh, anything that um, doesn't, you know, seem like we can use it right away will get used. I guess we're going to have to start a St. Patrick's Day box uh, to go with uh, our new. Uh, now we've got last year uh, we got a Halloween box. Now all the Halloween stuff people have sent, and now we've got a St. Valentine's Day box. Uh, and now we've got a St. Patrick's Day box. I wonder if we're gonna get a St. Bernard box. Hmm. Uh, okay, so look at these. These are so cute. Look at this. This one's got little shamrocks on them. This one's plaid. He's got a feather tail. And these kids obviously love all this stuff so much. This one has, um, uh, let's see. Uh, we've got a rainbow that says Lucky, I see. And a little mug that says Happy St. Pat's Day. <clears throat> oh, we got another set of the mice. We have, oh, the balls you were talking about. They are, these are mice that are shaped like footballs and soccer balls. Or uh, I guess you could say both kinds of footballs, uh, depending on how uh, like sort of global you wanted to be. I'll say both kinds of footballs, though, because that's, that's more fun. Um, and, and there's also, I feel like, a little bit like there's green. There's enough green there to make a... Uh, make a pass at it being St. Patrick's Day. No pun intended. I lied. There was totally a pun intended. Uh, oh, this says Happy St. Pat's Day. Oh, it's very crinkly, too. And then we have uh, all these little tiny PetSmart tennis balls. It says PetSmart right on them. Oh, these are what I heard jingling. The ball. Each one has a jingle ball in it. Oh, and it bounces. <gasps> These are going to be great. Uh, I know you sent these for the kids upstairs, and you sent six of them, so there's one for each of them. So that'll be super fun. And then, let's see, we've got a set of assorted green balls. Oh, and another set of assorted green balls. Uh, oh, and another set of assorted green balls. Right there. Uh, <laughs> the title of this... Uh, the title of this St. Patrick's Day uh, item that is green is Zero Lux Given. I gotta be real careful how I pronounce that. Zero Lux. Uh, that's cute. Then this is sports balls, and we have volleyball, basketball, uh, and then both types of soccer balls once again. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Both types of footballs. Okay, I can't say both types of soccer balls. You can't do it both ways. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, here, I hereby propose that we just start calling uh, the sport that uses this top ball American soccer. Right? Why not? I'm for it. Uh, then, let's see. There's two... No, one more thing here. This is... It says puppy class. You wrote it right on it. That's super cute. And uh, I think I mentioned earlier how much I thought they would like a toy that was like this that they had to reach into. And so here we are. The uh, grass patch hunting box. Uh, that's really cute, as long as it doesn't become a grass patch litter box. Um, those kids, by the way, uh, have taken their litter box lessons very well. I haven't, we haven't seen an accident in probably a week, uh, so I, they've really got it figured out. Uh, I, I worry a little bit that this might be just like extra temptation, but I, you know what? It's, uh, it's going to be fun for them regardless. I think they're going to really enjoy it. So I need to figure out how I'm going to sort all of this uh, for now. 
uh, I think what I'm going to do is just set it here, and we'll find another box, and then we can do, um, well, here, the St. Patrick's Day stuff. Let's put all that right back in for now until I figure out when that might be. <laughs> and uh, I know it's now-ish. That's, that's as close as I can get. Okay. Um, there we go. And then... These, I think, are for the two mom cats, or at least that's my assumption. Uh, and then these are all of our, our toy balls for these kids. And we're going to need quite a few things to sort of fill out their new room, which is gigantic, I think I mentioned. So, oh, where did that land? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, uh, so uh, as soon as I uh, have another good box, we'll put these in and use that to carry it up. Uh, Maggie and Logan are both sitting right here watching me. Oh, I guess you can see them from the ceiling camera, probably. And I'm just uh, real concerned that one of them is going to decide to finally jump over. Maggie looks like she's just going to pull the gate open. Wow. I think she's actually about to do it. She's got her paw on it. So and I know she wants to. But at this point, she doesn't even have to want to. She's just going to move her paw and the, the thing's going to go with. Hmm. She, she's really stuck. Let me give her a hand. Oh, hi, Maggie. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Stay there. You can't come over right now because River's here and she just, of all the cats I think she might be able to get along with, uh, you aren't one, okay? All right. Another Chewy Box. Oh, and this Chewy Box says, uh, oh, SD Grady again. All right, perfect. You did say you sent a whole bunch of stuff, so let's see what else we have. pushing this stuff out of the way just so you can see all these kids playing in this packing material. I think they are ready for that tissue pit, right? We'll get there. All right. Well, um, we have, ooh, really long-tailed fish. They look just like beautiful koi or something. Well, koi don't have tails quite this long. It says sparkle fish cat toy, and they are, uh, just as described, cat toys that are sparkly fish. Very uh, aptly named from Frisco. And as the Grady, of course. And then we have a classic box in a box scenario. Oh! <sighs> also, Frisco. Wow, it's very heavy. What is, why is this so heavy? It says cat scratching post one unit. Uh, but this is heavy. Why is it so heavy? Uh, let's find out real quick. Let's take a look at what this cat scratching post looks like that would make it so very heavy. Billy, you don't need to eat that tissue paper, all right? Oh, here we go. Oh, I kind of dressed for St. Patrick's Day, too. Hmm. Didn't even notice. Oh, wow. Uh, I can't tell what's going on here, but I guess the reason it's so heavy is it's made to stand up, and uh, the base must be what weighs it on. Oh, it's a sloth. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's a sloth. Oh, my goodness. Wow, you know, I think we've got a giraffe in the basement uh, and, uh, and maybe a leftover unicorn that stands up as a scratcher. So uh, sloth is, a, is an interesting addition to our menagerie, uh, our zoo of cat toys and scratchers. That would be a fun thing to deploy at some point. All of it. I'm trying to turn this sloth set around so you can see him without opening the bag. Oh, there we go. So it looks to me like it is a, it's like a basic scratcher that just, it's got a base that's very fuzzy and it stands up with the, the rope part here. Um, and then on the top, a sloth's head with these cute little Velcro arms so you can have him hold something or hug himself or uh, who knows what. How cute is that? He is adorable. Hmm. Sloths are really fun uh, animals, uh, you know. Well, I mean, I look at them in the zoo and they seem very cute. Uh, I have no idea uh, what they're actually like. I've never hung out with one. Uh, but uh, super, super cute idea for a scratcher. SD Grady, thank you so much for sending that. I'm, I'm not exactly sure when uh, we're going to put it out, but when we do, I'm going to be so excited to see everybody playing with it. Okay, let's see if I can get all that back in there. Ooh, nice. Yeah. No, that's a 
a very sturdy box that I've now ruined by trying to fold in. Wow, that base on that thing is super heavy though, so that's good, because maybe it won't fall over or be knocked over when they're scratching on it. This is what you want. All right, let's see here. This is, uh, it's a Chewy and it says Dragon Lady. Uh, oh, I think this is actually one that arrived this week, and I said we were gonna do this week's later, but somehow this, uh, I remember it fell into the pile, so we're just gonna open it. Uh, I didn't plan it that way. Oh, okay, Fun Tubes. It's a box of Fun Tubes. All right. Uh, Dragon Lady, thank you. Uh, fun Tubes, I, I know we went over this in, uh, I think it was just last week's mailbag. In fact, these may even be like uh, some that didn't make it from uh, the previous week. I mean, I can't say last week. Uh, but as I've mentioned, uh, the instructions on this aren't quite correct. I suggest that if you get Fun Tubes that look like this, uh, by the way, these appear to just be called cat toys. They, they don't have the label Fun Tubes on them. Uh, Anyway, my, my suggestion is to fold in the ends. Uh, if you fold them in, push, push them until the ends fold inside, they become way more fun. And the familiar fun tube shape. Um, but I don't see one here to show you. I'm sure you know how they work. Uh, Dragon Lady, thank you so much. This is a lot of fun tubes. 12, uh, four packs, uh, four packs of 12. So uh, plus, I think, like I said, there were a bunch that came last time, or recently anyway because I remember talking all about them, so I won't, I won't belabor the point now. Okay, well, let's do this first, and then we'll do that, and then we'll be wrapped up for today. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna slide this over next to me, and there's no name on the outside, so we gotta hope there's a good note on the inside. Let's see. You know, I described all these kids as scaredy cats, and here we are making all kinds of noise and stuff, and they're just having fun, I'm not scared in the least, which is nice to see, even for me, but also, I think, uh, you know, a testament to how, uh, you know, even a scaredy cat, once they're in a situation that they're entirely comfortable with, it's just new things that tend to set them off. I remember Eddie, I know I've said this before, when, when DJ first adopted him, you could not get him to go into the room with the TV on, uh, for anything. It took him like three or four days before he was willing to come into the room that was making all the TV noises. Uh, and then, you know, now he doesn't care one way or the other. He's learned his fine. But I remember very clearly, like at first, what a struggle that was. He, if the TV was on and making sound, he wanted nothing to do with it. It was too scary. Uh, you know, it could have been something to do with the fact that we were watching the Halloween series, but no, I'm just kidding. It wasn't. <laughs> Oh, well, I know who this is from and what it is. Wow, we don't even need a note these days. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this is from uh, um, uh, Tahini and uh, Flair. Uh, but look at that. we got a whole pack of fun tubes and uh, ball towers. So let's see. Oh, and something else. This is different. Okay, let's see what the notes are. Hang on. There they are. Uh, hi, Scotty. Hope you enjoy many snoozes in our favorite bed. I see. Uh, love to eating and flair. And then this one says, Hi, puppykins. We hope you enjoy some of our favorite toys. Love to eating and flair. Aw. That is super sweet. So this is all for Scotty and her puppies. And it is the classic to eating and flair gifts, which include the uh, classic style ball track towers. It says tower of tracks. I guess that describes it pretty well. Um, and there's, uh, I pulled out one, I guess, but there's four in here. I feel like I pulled out two. I don't know. Losing my mind. Anyway, uh, I see four in front of me, so that's the number I'm going to count to. This has to be a marshmallow bed, but uh, let's just open a tiny little corner. It is uh, so sweet. It is a light gray marshmallow bed, which uh, is a fantastic thing. I haven't seen Scotty use the marshmallow bed yet, but I'm so pleased that her kittens seem to love them. Um, and you know what, um, she, I may not have seen her use an actual marshmallow bed herself to lay down in, but I think you guys know that we have the human sized marshmallow bed uh, that you get when you buy, uh, you can get comforters that are made out of the exact same material. And so we've put those comforters on our bed and Scotty loves to get up on those and she just kneads on them and it's so much fun for her. So I get the feeling that she'll probably enjoy the bed as well. Uh, you know, once she has time to settle down, she's a very busy mom right now. So uh, thank you so much. And this is also some um, puppy class stuff. So I wonder, 
I don't want to save all that for endowment, but I do want to put it out of the way. So I think this can all go in here uh, for the moment. And that's super convenient. And this can go over there. This can go right up here. So uh, Tahiti and Flair and uh, you know whoever might have adopted you, thank you so much uh, for all that. It's too sweet. You guys have been sending those things for a long time. Someday mom might yank that credit card. Uh, OK. Oh, finally, we have this big thing. Uh, let's see here. And it says, from LFS, deploy all except endow yurt. Good. Well, I know LFS has messaged me plenty on this. Figure out what that means. All I have to do is look. Uh, but let's see how far we can get on our own here. Ooh, oh my goodness, this is packed full. Wow, real full. <laughs> what is all this is fun. Uh, okay, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on here, so let's just see what we can do. Uh, oh, this appears to be the packing slip. Wow, the packing slip is also very, very, very busy. Ooh, I have no idea. Uh, all right, uh, that's not going to help, though. We can't just read the uh, manifest. So this is a beautiful sticker of a blue bunny under a moon. There we go. And we have more stickers, too, that I think are probably to go for uh, walls and things. I can see this is two rabbits, but I can only see their feet. So we'll save the rest for a mystery uh, for now. This is some sort of uh, pillow. Hmm. I just want to see if there's anything on it. It is a, uh, it's a white pillow, as far as I can see. Uh, probably really soft, though. It says sheen on it, I believe. And it does look very soft, and I can't tell for sure. No, it, it, it uh, doesn't look like it's got marshmallow stuff. I don't want to open it and have it puff up, and then uh, you know have it be more trouble to try to carry around. But I bet it would be great for putting pillow covers and things on. Uh, we have this beautiful yellow rabbit. I, I'm sensing a real spring theme here. Uh, we got a yellow bunny. We have this. Can we figure out what this is? I think we're going to need some help for this one. Uh, I don't know, it's saying kind of ducky. Let's find out. I can't make heads or tails of it. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, that's not quite what I expected. Uh, I still don't know what it is. But it looks like it could make a fun toy. And this, I thought this was a cactus. It does appear to be a cactus on a thing. All right. We're going to have fun with that. Uh, this is a, a set of socks that have bunnies on them. Definitely a theme happening here. Uh, OK, uh, a rabbit headband. All right, all right. Uh, we have some little tiny chicks. I think these are the kinds that hop around on their own. Yes, they're wind up. Wow, I never thought of using a wind up toy with kittens, but I bet these little chicks that hop around will be fun. Of course, you'll have to use them supervised because they don't stand up very well on their own and the kittens are going to knock them over in an instant, right? But little wind up uh, hopping chicks, that's going to be a fun kitty toy. Uh, feels very Easter in here. I guess that's got to be coming right up too. See how much attention I pay to these things? Uh, here we have a like a looks like a Easter uh, streamer, a banner that we can hang over the fireplace for Easter. Here we have uh, bunny ears. That is a bunny ears costume. Look how floofy that is. That's going to be so cute on a cat. Oh my goodness. Uh, we have a well another mystery items. Uh, we'll we'll check that in one second. And then a blanket with a bunny on it. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful bunny blanket. A, oh, a gnome with bunny ears. Now that's too cute. Wow. Uh, I, this is like the Christmas gnomes that we have. I guess they're really branching out, aren't they? Uh, why not? You know, if you can get uh, the, the Easter peeps now come in like Christmas and Halloween flavors, then you can have Christmas gnomes breaking into the, the, the Easter stuff, right? Like everybody's just getting into each other's business these days. Uh, I like it. Okay, here we have a suit that has Happy New Year and stars on it. Wow, well that will come in handy in a while. Uh, oh, oh wait, it says Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. All right, perfect, we can use that twice. 
Uh, we have a, oh, the same bunny stickers. All right, we've got another set of those. We'll put that right there. We have a little St. Patrick's Day tie. I see it's a long tie on a collar. Look how cute that'll be. Oh my goodness, the pictures for that are gonna be spectacular. Let's put that stuff over here and clearly this is for photography section. Okay, uh, what was this thing? So I think I, think I mentioned uh, in the last mailbag, I made an offhanded comment about all these bags that now have zips on them for no apparent reason. Um, and uh, I know there was a little bit of confusion that stemmed from that. I'm talking about things that come in a bag with zips on them, like all of my memory cards come that way. I've never wanted to put a memory card back into a plastic bag that it came out of, so I have no idea why the zip's there. Uh, but then the other fact, um, for a lot of them, not for this one it seems, but for a lot of them, those zips are behind a tear-off top, so you can't even get to the zip unless you've torn off the top. Oh. These look like uh, St. Patrick's Day themed masks. Ah, those are cute too, they're so green. Well, that's perfect. Uh, thank you very much. I am definitely still wearing masks myself everywhere personally, uh, if for no other reason than I'm, you know, just recently been very ill. <laughs> so, so these are cute, uh, those, those are very cute. I'll set those in the uh, stuff to put aside now. Uh, there we go, with the t-shirt, thank you very much. Oh, hey, look, here's another one. This one's late to the party. Another little uh, wind-up chick. This is some kind of blanket, but I can't quite make it out. Oh, it's a t-shirt. It's not a blanket at all, because I see it now. Uh, and uh, another thing, like, I'm not going to put this t-shirt back in a bag. See, this is what I'm talking about. And I don't think this is wasteful or anything. I, don't, I do not think this is the least bit wasteful. In fact, sometimes I've been able to reuse these bags uh, because of the zip, and I like that. It's a good thing. I just don't understand why it's so common now, so prevalent. Um, especially, you know, with things that aren't, like, you don't have to preserve them. I think of the zips as things for stuff that has to be preserved. Uh, wow, I, I don't recognize what this, this logo, though. That's interesting. It appears to be a teddy bear, a uh, very stylized teddy bear. Uh, and that's about all I can make out of it, but it is St. Patrick's Day green, or uh, hunter green, I guess I would say, but any green will do, won't it? Uh, it's cute too. I like it. I, uh, again, I don't. I'm not familiar with the logo, but it's cute, and I'll definitely wear it. I'm gonna put that right over here with the T-shirts instead of right over here with the St. Patrick's Day stuff. Uh, and I think I think mostly this is gonna be Easter stuff, not St. Patrick's Day stuff, right? At least that's my theory. Okay. Uh, let's. See. Uh, now this one is a St. Patrick's Day stuff, though. You can clearly see it's a food mat. And it's got a St. Patrick's Day motif with gold and a mug of beer and a hand that may or may not belong to a leprechaun over here. Uh, and probably quite a bit more besides. Super cute. And look at that. We have a box for that. Uh, also, some more of that. I see there's a St. Patrick's Day plaid. Uh, it looks like a canvas runner. Oh, it's a pillowcase. Look at that. I know what this goes with. It's the pillowcase for this pillow. So perfect and a bunch of St. Patrick's Day stickers. Wow, that is a thick uh, sheath of stickers uh, for St. Patrick's Day. And I wanted to do more decorating with stickers, uh, especially because it gives us an easy and fast way to cover something up if I don't have time to like get out paint and fix the wall. Uh, stickers are fantastic. Or the, uh, the, the infinity scratchers, once they start to get a little scuffed looking, DJ's been taking the big um, contact paper stickers and putting them over the ends of them so they look nice even though my original plan was just to take whatever stickers we could find and put it all around. Her plan's probably better, easier, uh, but both of them are good, right? Here we have a little St. Patrick's Day outfit for a kitten photo shoot that is beautiful. It's got a cute little hat and uh, some sort of lacy thing with a bow. Wow, that is so adorable. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it with photo shoot stuff instead of with St. Patrick's Day stuff. When it comes to photo shoot stuff, I have a whole box of um, I'm just, I'm looking because River is walking around like she's stalking something and I want to make sure I didn't miss like a faculty coming over. Uh, okay. Anyway, I was saying, um, I'm going to put this with the, the, the costume stuff instead of St. Patrick's Day stuff. Right now, we've got a, a giant box of cat costumes for, for, for photos. And then I do have a separate box that's specifically Christmas costumes because we've got so many of those with their own genre. 
Uh, but I don't think we're there yet with anything else. So uh, that will go with the regular stuff. This is a mystery item. Let's take a look. Ooh, I might need the knife. It's a very well packed mystery item. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, wow. Ooh, got a little pop there. That was good. It's a nice stretch. I like that. Oh, oh, what is this? It's still a mystery item. Oh, oh. Well, this appears to be a slightly tilted uh, cat feeding trough. I think that's that's what I would make of it. Um, it, it appears to be a, a cat feeding trough, and it's a little bit lower on one side and higher on the other, which is nice. Uh, it's also super deep, and it's got a little lip to catch things that come out, um, and it's got these nice little rubber pads on the bottom. Hold it in place. I, I'm assuming that's what it is. That's what it says to me, and it seems like it would work perfectly for that. So uh, we'll see. Okay, put this right back here. Wow, this box never ends. Look at that. This one is a lace uh, outfit for a cat to wear. So this can go with our, you can see the lace there. It's like a lace dress. It's very pretty. Put that over here. A mat. Oh, another mat uh, to eat on or, um, you know, whatever. And this one appears to have a cat. No, a bunny. It's a bunny. It's Easter. I see it's got a bunny and eggs. There we go. You can see the bunny nose and the eggs. This is almost like those little, the, the games they used to do for kids where they would show you something really close up and ask you if you could tell what it was. And you have to figure it out and then zoom out and be like, yes, that's it. Uh, so that one's a bunny with eggs. We know that much. This also appears to be uh, Easter eggs with hearts. Wow, that is a lot of noise. I keep, I keep panicking now that River's like going after Maggie and I'm not noticing, but everybody's okay. Uh, here we have a love shamrock outfit for the cats. Put that with the costumes, uh, even though it might be more of a surgical suit thing. Like this one, <laughs> this is so cute. This one has little kitties and rocket ships, and it says, I need more space. Aw, I love the pattern on that. That's super cute. Uh, this is a bandana that has uh, party, uh, party balloons on it, I guess. It's a bandana, party balloons. And, of course, a, a St. Patrick's Day theme happening. Put that up there with the St. Patrick's Day theme. And here we have extra small surgical suit with little duckies on it. Uh, it does look like extra small might be a little too big for uh, Villa, or else I would torture her with that right this minute. Whoa, hi! Here we have a Mardi Gras bandana with a crown on it. I guess that must be around now, too. I just... We're, we're, we're like going from holidays that I really have no excuse not to know when it is, like Easter, all the way down to stuff where I'm like, I've never known where Mardi Gras is. Uh, but uh, so at least I don't feel bad about not knowing that one right now. Now here's an extra small bunny outfit. And we have, uh, <laughs> uh, we have uh, another, oh, love shamrock, okay. And we have these bow ties with collars. Two different kinds, two different sizes. Wow. Um, okay, that's we're, we're actually going to toss all the shamrocky things right up here. Changed my mind on that. You see how that works? We're just making this all up as we go along. There's no rules. Okay. Oh, and this, so this too, right? And this. Oh, and this. Okay. All right. Right up there. Perfect. And then this one. Oh, wait. There's more. There's more green things. There's the. Uh, this appears to be a bandana with little leprechaun hats. And this has rings, so I'm guessing a curtain. This is actually a curtain with rings uh, that also says Luck of the Irish and has uh, shamrocks on it. There we go. And I can see the curtain rings. That's why I say it's got to be a curtain. All right. That would be cute. I never thought of uh, using the curtain rods in the kitten rooms as a way to decorate seasonally, but it makes too much sense, doesn't it? Too much sense. <laughs> All right, now I think we have arrived at these two mysterious looking beds. They're gray, and they have a little tiny leaf on the top that is also gray. And that is the, uh, 
That's a complete description as far as I can give you. Although they're the real fluky beds like that. The, we got a cactus that was built the same way once and it's real solid. It stands up great to all the abuse that kittens can give. A lot more than the ones that have the thin panels. So this is a very plush bed uh, with a little tiny leaf on the top. You know, it, more than anything, um, just because it's like a weird color and has a weird leaf on top, it makes me think of Pikmin. Although it'd have to have a little bit more of a a thing between the body and the leaf, I guess, but still, it's, it's, it's like squashed Pikmin uh, vibes <laughs> from these beds. So there's two there's twins, twinsies beds. The leaf is very cute. And then here we have, well, I can't tell what this is. It looks like Christmas stickers to me. At least that's what it says here. Yep. These are a bunch of little Christmas uh, window decals, according to this. All right, so we got Christmas too happening. And then finally, one last thing here in the corner. Uh, looks like a collection of more stickers. Man, stickers are fun. I have been, I think I mentioned this before. Maybe that's why stickers are coming. You guys, you don't have to send me any stickers for this, okay? I have a lot. Oh, they're all Easter. Cool, they're all fun Easter stickers and they're all different. I don't see any duplicates. Wow, that is, uh, it's way too many to show off even. The one I'm right on top though. Uh, almost seems chosen just for me. The one right on top is a rabbit who also has a rainbow unicorn horn and mane. I don't begin to understand why that would be, but I love it. Uh, they're all great though. So a bunch of Easter stickers. I was about to say, I've, I've talked a little bit about how uh, people have sent us stickers and we've collected stickers in the past. And I've, I've actually built up a big collection of stickers and uh, I intend to like put them all over my laptop and stuff because that's fun and I've always kind of wanted that but I've never like had enough stickers to make it happen. And you can't really just, I, I know people do put on one or two at a time and then build up but it feels weird until you've got them like plastered with stickers and then you're like, I see what's happening there. So now I've saved up enough to just do the whole thing at once and I think it'll be fun. Who knows, maybe some Easter ones will get in there but I'm gonna put them with the Easter stuff because that's where that definitely goes. All right. Uh, hey, look, look at that. We, we, we made it through. We made it through mailbag and we made it through uh, what was almost like a one box mailbag in a way. Uh, so thank you so much to, to just everybody who sent everything. I appreciate it so much. Loganberry and River. River is so good with all the faculty 100% of the time through the door, through a gate, even if they're touching each other. Never even a slight issue. But then once they, they actually are in the same space, I, I'm still nervous about it. And you can see her sometimes getting more and more excited. And there's even been times when I suspect that, that she wants to play with the faculty, but they don't understand it. And uh, it just ends up you know, being bad. Uh, so I don't know exactly, but uh, I, I wanted to mention, since you just saw her over there with Logan without any problems, I was giving her treats the other day, and I was giving Maggie treats the other day through the fence, and she, uh, River was sitting there, she wasn't eating her treats. So after a minute, uh, Maggie started reaching through the gate and, and taking the treats from uh, River. And again, River didn't mind at all. She's like, yeah, you can have them, I'm not eating them. <laughs> it just felt, it seems so weird, because I know if I just took the, the fence out of the equation, it, it probably would turn into an instant fight, uh, which is weird, but, I think that's a real good experience though. The more they can have those experiences, the more likely they are to get along once the fence isn't part of the equation. Uh, all right, so now what I have to do is get all this stuff put away and uh, then I'll come back and we'll wrap up mailbag. And by the way, I am pleased to say we've been going for an hour and 15 minutes and I'm still feeling pretty good. So I, I might be at the tail end of this thing. Uh, fingers crossed that's the case. Or maybe just sitting down uh, is, is also super helpful. I don't know. Uh, but at least I'm feeling pretty positive right now. And this has been a lot of fun for me. Uh, thank you guys so much for, first off, thank, thank you so much for um, understanding everything. Uh, underst and you guys have been so, um, I don't, I don't know what word I'm looking for. I'm going to go with understanding. You know what I mean. Uh, that, that even before I hurt my back and I started to get a little sick, um, everybody uh, has been just so, I guess, uh, willing to, to let me get away with not getting everything done that I feel like I ought to get done. As long as I'm taking care of the kittens, everybody's like, you know, 
uh, we'll still be here once you're back to normal. And I, I just, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate everybody uh, sort of sticking by us and, and having that level of uh, sympathy and understanding is, is very important. And it means so much to me that, that all of you have been willing to sort of stand by while we sort things out, including my own health, but everything else too, the basement and the rooms and the everything. Just thank you. Uh, I, I really appreciate the patience and understanding. That's it, patience and understanding. Uh, it means so much. Uh, and then, uh, as usual, the generosity is mind-boggling. And you guys, uh, you, you don't even have any idea how much stuff showed up for mailbag uh, for the, the next mailbag <laughs> that showed up that w what would have been today's mailbag. It's a lot. In fact, I got the same question again uh, when I went to pick it up at the post office. They're like, how big is your car? And I'm like, oh, no. Uh, but it did. This time it all fit, um, barely. Like, I was... I, I'm maintaining my Tetris uh, belt. Uh, I definitely get to keep it for now. All right. Um, again, I don't know when we're going to get to all the stuff uh, that, that would have arrived for today, but I can tell you again, what I want to do is try to record it all and then upload it and watch it with you and have it sort of happen that way. And I think it'll go easier on me, but, uh, but we'll see. I see River now making eyes and stuff at Logan, and I think, I don't know if she's trying to play with him or intimidate him. He doesn't seem bothered. Her tail's going just a tiny bit. She doesn't seem too bothered either, though. Well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna get all this stuff packed up. Uh, it looks like we need a box for the Easter stuff, at least for now, until I figure out when holidays are, uh, which is, seems to be a running theme, for me at least. And then uh, let's see if I can't get a little tissue pit going at least before I, I settle down to relax. I think these kids deserve it, and I think you guys deserve it. Uh, and I think it would be fun, and I think they're ready. So let's see if I can't. Uh, when I bring this stuff down, I'll bring the tissue pit up. We'll grab some tissue, and uh, we'll see what happens. I know people have sent like specific tissues that are really fun and fun colors and things. Uh, but I'm not going to put myself out trying to find them. I'm going to grab whichever ones I find first, and we'll go with that for today. Uh, uh, meanwhile, um, let's see what we can do about getting this stuff put up. I feel like, except, uh, and I guess I have to assume these are Easter-themed beds with the little leaf on top, even though they're gray. Uh, they're really cute, so I guess I'll just consider that all Easter. So, all right. They must be, since everything else is, except one, Chris uh -oh, one Christmas item. I saw her running, I thought maybe somebody went over the fence, but I guess not. Let's just check. Hi, it's okay, River, it's okay, I'm just checking on you. No, you're good, okay, okay. Wow, River's been so playful too, I don't know if any of you have had a chance to catch her playing with your kittens, but more and more of that is uh, happening all the time, and I just am loving it. She is the sweetest mom, and she's so sweet to snuggle, and she is, she is an Eddie, and she's an Eddie in like the most legitimate sense of she's scared of things, um, but when she gets you alone, all she wants is to come up and snuggle on you. She rubs on your ankles, and she just wants to be uh, petted and cared for. Uh, and I find, um, much like Eddie, that the, the exact level of affection does depend a little bit on how hungry she is, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but it's still super sweet. Uh, okay. And she is zooming back and forth. I saw she's chasing her kids around. That's so fun, too. Let's see if how much of this Easter stuff we can fit in this nice box here. I don't know if this is necessarily an Easter thing. We'll leave that one out. And this one definitely not an Easter thing. Uh, well, you know what? We'll sort all this. It will all get sorted. Just not right this second.
the uh, gray cat that is a yurt for yurt, so I'm told. Well, that makes perfect sense. All right. Well, let's see. This stuff's got to go upstairs, and this stuff, yeah, this can all go upstairs. So let's take that all together. hyper right now. I'm not even going to carry him down until I've got them all out the door. That way I don't have to deal with going through the door a whole bunch of times trying to stop her from doing the same. She's never been a door runner, but I hate for anybody to decide now is the time either way. Clean it up. Come on. Come on. Clean up your mess. This is your mess. Dog. No, oh, you don't have to look at me like that. Right? I'm joking. She doesn't run out the door. She ran out the door. <laughs> but she ran straight up the stairs to my office. Like, that's her place, I guess. It is one of the places she goes. That went to me just running up the stairs after her one time. That's uh, not my usual level of windedness from running up the stairs, <clears throat> I have to say. Uh, I'm sure I'll be back to normal in no time, though. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, she ran straight up the stairs and into my office. Uh, like I said, when we separate her, that's usually where she goes, and she likes it there. I've seen her run to the office before. It's like her chosen place to be. So I just closed the door and let her stay in there, and now I can take down the fence, and Logan can come in here and educate these kids about what's what. So I'll do that and uh, carry on here for just a minute, right after I catch my breath. You said it, Lily. Well, plenty of time. You've been very patient. Go on in. Yurt immediately went right up to Logan for snuggles. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Lodge, I've, I've mentioned before a few times about how Lodge has been trying to get into a pod. Uh, anytime Custard is in a pod, Lodge wants to get in the, the, the pod and snuggle up with Custard. It's really sweet. And uh, he hasn't quite made that happen yet, despite trying, but he did get a chance finally on top of the bed outside of a pod. He decided that was good enough snuggled right up with Custer. They had a big nap right together. It was so cute. Yurt just ran right up to Logie. Uh, these kids are so cute with the faculty. What are you saying, Villa? <coughs> you look so skinny with your floof on floof. It's, uh, it's kind of doing like some ice and snow and big wind outside. That's what you hear and what the kitties are reacting to. Keep moving. Logenberry, you were a very good boy. You were so patient. I know that whole mailbag, you were just sitting right there waiting for your chance. Very patient little bunny. Yeah, I'll come channel Logan bunny. Dark Santa Claus game and threw these all over my shoulder downstairs.
time, everybody, uh, for everything, for, for being just wonderful people and uh, <laughs> taking such good care of the kittens and taking such good care of me. Um, I know, uh, you know, DJ and I uh, both really try to keep Kitten Academy about the kittens, but inevitably, people do run it, so um, it's, it's nice that, uh, that we have that too, I guess. Um, I don't know, I don't have all the words, but, uh, but I, I do sincerely appreciate everything from everyone. It's, it's wonderful, and especially times like this when, uh, you know, I have a tendency to feel like maybe I'm not doing everything that I ought to. Uh, it means that much more to know that everybody is so supportive of us, uh, even in, I don't want to say rough times, it's really not that bad. Um, but I'm going to say it anyway because I don't know what other words to use, so uh, thank you for that. Um, I just, I really appreciate it. All right, uh, well, hey, look, that's going to end the mailbag archive. Uh, so if you are watching the archives, uh, as usual, check out the regular Kitten Academy uh, uh, live stream. But if you are watching it uh, live, you don't have to go anywhere. I don't even know if I said that right. Okay, there you go.